Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure Google Cloud Connector for SAP Llama. So right now, we are into our SAP Landscape Management Dashboard. So first of all, click on the setup. Here go to Infrastructure, then Cloud Managers. And now we have to click on add. So by default, SAP Llama is providing Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure Cloud Connector. So we do not need to install any kind of SC or STA files. These are by default provided by SAP. But for Google, guys, we need to install one EAR file. And then we have to do some configuration into our SAP NetWeaver system. So let me take you through the steps that we need to do. So this is the guide that has been provided by Google. So the first step is that we need to upload the CE certificate. So just go to this link. And from here, you have to download the subordinate CEs. And here we need to download this certificate that is GTSCA IC3 that is mentioned here. This one. So we need to download this. So, guys, we need to download this in certificate PAM format. So, I already downloaded that. Here you can see this is my certificate file. So let's con import it. So this is my SAP NetWeaver Administration Console. So here go to Configuration. Then in Security, we have to go to Certificate and Keys. Then select Trusted CAs. Then click on Import Entry. From here, choose X509 certificate and choose file and now select this file and import. And you can see that it has been imported successfully. So one of our tasks is completed. Now back to our guide. The next step is that we need to Configure a IAM service account. So here guys what I am doing is So this is my service account Okay, and this is my system llama. I have named it llama and this is my service account So I am using this particular llama system service account and I have provided all the necessary Permission to this particular service account. So here you can that which particular configuration is required or which particular permissions authorization is required. So here these are the steps that we need to follow. So I'm leaving this. Then what we have to do is we have to set the JVM to use internet protocol version 4. So this is the parameter that we need to pass. So just copy this. Then back to our NetWeaver system and from here go to infrastructure, infrastructure then go to Java system properties. Here additional VM parameters and now we have to click on add. And here we have to provide the name that is so we have to provide like this and then I'll do as true. Click add done. Then click on save. So changes were successfully saved, but we need to take a restart. 
but prior to that guys what we are going to do is we are going to install our EAR file that has been provided by Google so if we are using Google Cloud CLI then we can download it from this particular command or if we are using window then we just need to copy this URL paste it and then we have to download this particular tar file so guys I already downloaded this so this is my file let me yeah this one here you can see and I have extracted this so on that what we have is we have a EAR file that we need to deploy into our SAP NetViewer system so I already copied this file to my USR SAP SID directory let me take you so here it is LVM EAR file so do one thing just go to command prompt from here and then telnet localhost and then 5 instance number 08 then we need to provide the username so here I am using the telnet to deploy our EAR file administrator then provide the password then add deploy hit enter then deploy and then we need to provide the path of this file so let's copy this copy the path and the file name and then on deploy error is equal to stop and hit enter guys so now it start deploying so here you are able to see that success so our component is deployed successfully so let's back to our guide then what we have to do is we have to configure so here these are the two nodes that we can follow to deploy the EAR file that I already explained you so now we have to go to our llama system so prior to that guys let's take a restart and restart is going to take some time so I will fast forward the video during this time Okay guys, so our system is started now. Again click on setup. and come to the infrastructure then cloud managers then click on add so this time as you are able to see that we have google cloud connector also so just select this next provide a name so i'm going to provide it google and 
in the monitoring interval i'm putting 300 and i'm leaving all these field as blank so guys if you are using the dedicated service account so that you need to provide here so for that what you have to do is you have to just follow all these steps so first of all you have to go to the service account then you need to create a one and then on that particular service account you need to add a key and once you added the key automatically a json file will be downloaded it will ask you that you need the key in which format so you need to select json file and it will be downloaded automatically and then you have to put that json file content here and the content should be in one line so here all these things are mentioned but here i'm using the dedicated host service account so just hit on test configuration and here you can see that our connection is successful here you can see here you can see that our connection is successful click on next and save once you save it when you go to the storage manager you are able to see that we have google cloud nfs and pdpd here represent the persistent disk and when you come to the virtualization manager it is also there so google cloud underscore vm so by this way our google cloud connector is configured with the sap llama and we can use the functionality of google cloud connector into our sap llama so guys in our next video i'm going to show you how we are going to configure our systems here and how we are going to restart them and how we are going to update the kernel and all these things so keep watching guys i hope you will like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel have a good day bye bye